the only difference. I didn't get any smarter. I didn't get any new raw ability. I didn't get better genetics. I simply upgraded one thing, my mindset. I began to believe different things about myself. At this point in my life, it was such a dark period. I started reading about the brain and I wanted to understand what the nature of the mind was. And at the time, this is the late 90s when I first started reading about it. At the time, it was hotly debated as to whether or not you could learn new tricks, right? Can an old dog learn new tricks? And people were saying, nope, you're born with the number of neurons that you're born with, and that's it. Every time you have a beer, you're knocking 10,000 out, and it's just a steady decline until you slide into the grave. That's what people were talking about. And then there was another group of people that said, no, 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 actually you're forming new neurons every day. There's this whole thing called brain plasticity. Your brain will actually rewire based on your own thoughts. A man, give it up to that. A man named Norman Deutsch wrote a book called The Brain That Heals Itself. Think about this organ for a second. The organ itself, by thinking, can actually change its physical structure. And if you've ever seen footage of the little neurons and axes moving and looking for each other and coming together and reconnecting and then getting wrapped in what's called myelin. It's a fatty tissue that allows for the electrical impulses to travel more rapidly and easier. And because the brain is desperate for caloric efficiency, it always does that which is easiest. The thing that becomes easiest is the thing you repeat. So if you repeat to yourself that you're no good, that you're worse than other people, that you'll never be able to do it, then that's going to be what becomes easy for you to think. That's how the brain works. That's why if you practice something, you get better at it. Now, most people practice thinking really lame stuff about themselves. They think negative stuff all day long. They focus on their failures, they focus on the things that they didn't do well. And so that's what hardwires. They focus on all the ways that it could go wrong. I always tell people, stop rehearsing the failure and stop rehearsing it under the guise of, I just wanna be ready. I want to have a backup plan. Well, the problem is what you're going through over and over and over is how things are going to go wrong. It is far better for you to put your energy into how to make sure that they go right. Then you're rehearsing over and over and over. You don't just think about the thousand ways that a building can fall. You think about structural integrity. You think about how do you build that in? Where do the posts have to be? That's the thing that you rewire over and over. So I have a dream. Okay, fantastic. I have one question. What skills does your dream require you to obtain? Now you know what to do. Now you know how to spend your time. So even though it was this hotly debated thing, I decided I was going to believe in brain plasticity. Why? Welcome to one of the most important rules in my life. I chose to believe it not because I knew it was true. I chose to believe it because it was empowering. And I only allow myself to do and believe about myself things that are empowering. I think humans have an extraordinarily hard time determining what is true. You're something like five times more likely to believe something negative about yourself than you are something true. Your brain's job is to keep you alive. It is not to keep you thriving. So it's gonna protect you from danger. It's gonna send warning signals all the time. It's gonna tell you that you're smaller than you really are so that you don't take that risk. And look, I don't think people have a moral obligation to do something great. I don't even know that my way of life is the best for everyone. I think you have to be really careful who you take advice from. And in the beginning of that intro, they took a snippet from a, a longer thing, and I wanna give you the longer thing now. I don't know that the way that I live my life is the right way to live. Maybe just trying to find peace calm, and a stress-free life would be better for you. All I know is, if you want to be great, if you want to play on a world stage, I'm your man. And let me tell you what I've learned. You're going to pay an extraordinary price to become the person that you want to become. And it starts with having the dream, because you have to have clarity. You've got to know what you want. And I find that a lot of people fall down on this. They don't know what they want. They have some general sense. They'll say things like this, Tom, I know exactly what I want, man. I want to help people. Fantastic. In what way? 
How are you going to help them? How are you going to measure your success? There are so many ways to help people, and your job is to get really extraordinary at one of them. To me, that's